Hey guys, this is Dreadbane joined by Sapphire. This is game two of the King of the Hill. Uh, now, Cowie won the last one, and he's now playing the yellow Protoss, and as is the blue Protoss this game. Now, this is Blistering Sands. I'm still in shock from the last game, Seth. What in the world did we just watch? It looked like uh, as entered that game with a, a strategy for game one. This is a best of seven, so this is a big epic series. And it looked like his strategy was, I want to take the game to Cowie and not let him get anywhere near those stalkers that he's just so lethal with. And we saw that in their previous series in the Australia vs New Zealand show match that he was just so good with those stalkers. And it looked like as just went with that two gate, no gas, Zealot all in and was so deadly with it, especially when he transitioned uh, a forge in and had it in cannon rush. So it was two gate Zealot all in with cannon rush, but Cowie with that counter cannon rush from nowhere and just able to get three stalkers out of one gateway and just was so, so lethal with it. So interesting to find out how Az is going to respond right now. We did uh, see quite a lot of. Uh, as going for early Robo Bay plays and even going for early Colossus. Uh, curious to find out whether he's going to continue against that because Cowie has really shown himself to be able to defend against those Robo plays in Protoss vs. Protoss, versus Protoss quite well. So curious to find out what opening As is going to go for this time to uh, try and claw back a game off Cowie who's up 1-0. Cowie must be feeling good though. He won the, he won the final of the... Um... Trent, the basically the international one between Australia and New Zealand. Then he's also defended that quite handily after being cannon rushed. So he must be feeling pretty good. As must be thinking, what's he got to do to win this so far? He's getting an assimilator this time, so that is a good start for a game longer than five minutes. So uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Looking a bit more traditional, safe to say, so far. Yeah, looking like we may see some. Uh... A quite a mirrored build going down. Cowie's a simulator finishing now, as is starting to mine as well, unlike last game where he was uh, suffering from best bean allergy. But now his gateway's coming online, very similar time for both people. Cybernetics core going down for Cowie. Cowie's a little bit in front, and he's harassing as with this probe, working on the shields of this probe, as forced to move the uh, probe off this mineral patch. This is a little bit annoying here. Meanwhile, as was working on this uh, pylon with his own probe. So, interesting. Uh, little opening here and we're seeing very very similar timing very similar build going on so looking uh, curious as to find out where we're going to find the deviation in the builds it is a mirror match so it's Protoss vs Protoss it's very common to see mirrored builds especially on players of this level second gas coming online quite early there for Cowie so assuming that Cowie is going to go heavy heavy uh, Stalkers, which he absolutely loves and uses so effectively. We're seeing Warpgate research being Chrono Boosted there. No Chrono Boost going down on Warpgate for Cowie as opposed to a Stalker coming out. So we are seeing a slight variation there as Cowie wants to get that initial Stalker out, whereas Az is looking to get his uh, re Warpgate research on a little bit faster. So it's curious to find out how that's going to uh, affect this as we see Az get his second gateway now just before the, the third gateway, sorry, just before the second one warps in. I have a feeling Az is still doing something sneaky because if you can see in Cowie's base on the right by the Destructive Rocks, he's still got that little probe hanging out. So I think he's chrono boosting that warp gate. He's going to try some sneaky drop if he's allowed to because uh, this one stalker uh, for Cowie is trying to find what's going on. I don't think that Cowie knows about this because he did have a little probe scout over there. He didn't really notice it though. So. We have to see. This stalker is moving over there, so maybe he did, so we have to see. <laughs> yeah, as is somewhat famous for his uh, adventurous little probes, even throwing down a pile on there just to mix it up. He's going to get that early warp, warp gate technology, so this stalker is going to have to really burn down this pile on. We are seeing the second stalker coming in to join his buddy and try and burn down this pile before it comes in but as very close to warp gate technology and he's four gating and he's looking like he's going to be able to warp in three stalkers now warp working on this uh, pile and looking like it's going to go down he is not going to warp in units because they would be cut off so smart by as not to uh, overcommit there meanwhile he finally gets his own assimilator online with fourth gateway coming online and a robotics facility going down so we are seeing <laughs> Slight deviation there. Meanwhile, three gateways for Cowie, but Cowie's got more units out, and he's got more stalkers on the field right now. And we are seeing a uh, sentry being thrown in there for Az. So interesting from Cowie, who is banking quite a lot of minerals, looking like he's saving for an expansion, and he's going to cover that with some aggression. So curious to find out uh, if this is going to pay off and whether that bank minerals is indeed for an expansion. Cowie's famous stalkers marching across this map now, heading towards the destructible rocks. Uh, doesn't look like Az knows about this quite yet. He doesn't have a spotter pylon over there. 
So uh, he could actually get a free shot at this exp um, this main if he keeps it, keeps it up because so far as his units are just hanging out by the um, natural. So um, we'll have to see if Cowie can produce more stalker magic in a second as more of these get um, get moved in and a, pro a little pop probe uh, putting a pylon down there. So we we'll have to see um, if Cowie's aggression will work out in a sec. Yeah, as did pick it up, he sent a scout, so he does know about this. Curious to see what his reaction is going to be, is these destructible rocks are going to be taken down as pushing out with his own units there. Cowie going pure, pure stalker, no variation in there whatsoever. A few zealots and a sentry in there for Az, but Cowie loving those uh, stalkers, even warping in a couple of zealots. Nice force field there going off, and Az completely locks out those two zealots from the fight, able to pick them off. Finally, the zealots squeeze through. Az got quite a few free shots on those units of Cowie right there, looking like Az is falling back to this ramp, does not want to open field fight, but now he's realizing he's a little bit stuck. It's Cowie with that micro once again, Az focus fire on these stalkers, Cowie's pulling them back, looking like Cowie's working through Az's units right here, Az in critical shape, cannot lose that sentry, no, there goes his ability to block this ramp, so Az is in bad, bad shape, but he, now he has this Immortal online, which is just in time, although Cowie's established map control, he's got this forward position, able to keep walking in, those stalkers, takes out those rocks, and there's nothing in the way other than this probe. Re as realizing the peril here, bringing his units in, this immortal is could prove the difference maker. It depends how Cowie executes here, but once again we are seeing that stalker micro. He does have blink online now, and he is throwing down that expansion, looking like he did save up with the idea of expanding, but obviously uh, decided against it un unless that was an actual mistake, which would be unlike Cowie. But now Cowie pushing in with these stalkers, taking out one pro, looking tr like trying to get this critical pylon. Oh, that's crucial for Az. He cannot lose that pylon even for a minute. That is going to really hurt him, but he does drive these forces out of his base. I'm very surprised that uh, <laughs> if Az does not throw down another pylon just to back these up. That one pylon is powering half his stuff. That is really amazing. I would have thought he would have doubled up even choosing to put his next pylon not near there, so, wow, that is very, very surprising, but really, Az just needed to buy himself some more time, as the stalkers come in again, these two immortals now can lay into these, um, these two immortals will lay into these stalkers if they're given the chance, the little micro picking off another couple units, but these immortals for um, Az really proving very difficult for Cowie to uh, really fix up here, as another one joins them right now. Yeah, this back and forth from Cowie 